Hello friends! There are some videos on my channel with the reviews of different power banks with a stable 5 volts. But there was no power bank so far which provides 12 volts or at least 9 volts. However, sometimes there are situations when you need 9 volt or even 12 volt power supply with the minimum weight and dimensions. Exactly because of this reason I have got some power banks, tested them and selected the best one. Here it is. The Ailey is well-known brand, but I didn't like some models of it. As to this one, it has more or less stable power output. It's the weight without batteries. You can see the data on the rear side of the device. and We will check this data during our test. Well, this device has two USB ports. Here we have Android sign, and here Apple. But in my opinion, they are in parallel. Here we have the light emitting diode. Well, this is power output, well, the voltage of which can be selected here. But in case you turn the USB port with the help of this button, well, this button or uh, this switch works independently. So you can charge nothing with the help of these USB ports, but anyway you can get the voltage with the help of this switch. Also, in case you leave the switch not in off position, it will be turned on, despite this switch. Here nothing, also nothing, and here we have the micro-USB connector for charging of this power bank. Now I will insert the old batteries in order to check the charge level indicator. There is no need to insert six ones. And here we have two from four. In order to turn this off, in including the USB, we press twice. So, long press and twice in order to turn this off. We turn this on and after that long press turns the light on. Also long press turns the light off. 5 volts 5.02 and 5.02. So most probably they are connected in parallel these two ports. So in case of no load, well, this device turns off. Let's check the capability of the USB ports. Well, this USB tester cannot be inserted into the USB port together with this one, because the ports are very close. That's why I've used the extender. Here we have 5.2 and here 5.3. Well, this load is designed to 0.6, 1 and 2 amps. Well, this is approximately less than 1 amp and less than 2 amps. Here we have 0 0.8 and the voltage is 4.9. In case of 2 amp load, 4.88 volts and 1.54 amps. Let's increase the load. Four point eighty eight volts, one point fifty five amps, four point ninety five volts, and zero point seventy five amps. One amp load here. Four point 89 volts, 1.56 amps, here 4.92 volts, 1.02 amps. So in total we have 2.5 amps, even 2.6 amps. Let's apply the maximum load. 
here we have 4.08 volts 1.67 amps here 4.14 volts 1.31 amps so in total we have 3 amp load but the voltage is very low some devices will not recognize this voltage as the USB one so this device provides stability in case of one amp load here and 1.5 amps here in total it can provide 2.5 amps we will test the power output of this power bank everything is connected we will apply all these loads and check the voltage and amperage with the help of this small volt ampere meter but additionally we will control the voltage with the help of this more precise device the first voltage to be tested is 3.8 volts here we have 4.1 volts the maximum amperage according to the data should be 2.5 amps let's apply the load 1.2 2.2 and in case of 2.7 the voltage decreases let's decrease the load in case of 2.6 the voltage is approximately 4 volts which is less than the initial voltage so 2.5 amps is achieved and the device can withstand this amperage let's check the next voltage 6 volts 6.1 6.19 the maximum amperage of this device can withstand is 1.8 amps the voltage increases a bit 1.7 and voltage is 6.4 let's increase the load a bit so in case of 1.85 amps the voltage decreases here we have 5.9 and here we have 6 volts so we can say that the device can withstand 1.8 amps now let's check the 9 volt level in case of 9 volts the amperage is 1.1 amps the load is too high let's decrease it well, this is 10 watt car bulb well, this is 4 watt car bulb but in case of 19 watt in total it will decrease the voltage definitely 1.14 is more than it can provide so at 9 volt level it can provide approximately 0.9 amps and finally 12 volts the maximum amperage should be 0.6 amps this is too high load yes 12 watt car bulb this is 10 watt car bulb also it will be too high no in case of idle mode we have 11.8 and here we have 12.1 and in case of 10 watt car bulb we have here 12 volts here we have 12.2 volts 0 0.75 amps so even more than described now let's check in case of 9 watts 5 watts plus 4 watts so this is the nominal load we have 0 0.6 amps and the exact voltage is 12.2 so the device really copes with the task as to the conclusion the device is excellent in view of its USB ports as to the power supply of different voltages they are not exactly the same as described on the rear panel of the power bank but anyway the power supply is more or less stable thanks for watching Wish you good luck.